we're going to be looking at is the select method and what that does is it selects one element from the document. So you give it a string with the type of element you want to return and it'll return the first the HTML node for the first element that matches the type. So in this example it'll select the first like hyperlink or anchor element and it then assigns it to the variable anchor. And then now you can use this anchor to run the other D3 methods to present the data however you want. So this D3 part here is actually a reference to a D3 object, which after you import the script from the website by just pasting in the script tag, you can use this D3 dot to access any of the methods given by the library. So if we do console.log, D3, you can see all the various methods that you can use here. So to select, let's say this header one tag here, we can do D3 dot select and then give us a string the type of element, which is H1. And what we can also do is we can assign this to a variable header. So whenever we use header now, it will reference this element right here. So then the append method allows you to add elements into the document and what it does is it adds a type of element which you specify as a string to the HTML node that you call the method on. So if you wanted to insert a new paragraph into this document here, we would do, uh, first we'd need to select the body. So we would do let body equals d3.select body. And if we wanted to add a paragraph, we would call the append method on body. And we would just give it the type P for paragraph. And what this has done is it's inserted a paragraph right here at the end. We just can't see it because there's no text in it at the moment. So what the text method does is it either sets the text off the selector node if you give it a string inside, or if you don't give it anything, it'll just return the text that's in the selector node. So if we wanted to return the text that's in this h1 tag, what we can do is just run, I'm just gonna log it so we can see it. Um, you would just do header.text and that would return the text content of this tag that we selected. So if we wanted to set the text for this paragraph, for example, we would just do dot text because we've already selected the paragraph element here and we can just give it a string and it adds that string into the paragraph. Now, in this example, what it does is it selects the first unordered list in the document. It adds a list item to it with the text very important item. And it says that you can change several methods together with periods, so you don't even need to set variables. And you can perform a number of actions in a row. So now we'll look at the problem. So what it wants us to do is firstly select the body tag, then add a header one to it with the text learning D3. So the first step is always to select the body. So we would just do D3.select and the type of element we want is body. So now this refers to the body tag. So next we want to add a H1 element. So to this, we can use the dot operator to call a method and we'll call append with h1. And now it's created a h1 tag and selected it. So what we can do now is set the text of this h1 tag with the text method and just put learning d3. And as you can see, it's appeared as the header text. And that should be all we need to complete this task. Perfect.